Africa is a melting pot of different arts and cultures, a sector hoping to thrive off the attention South Africa will be getting over the next year. Johannesburg, like other host cities, are preparing themselves for the flood of tourists expected to visit our shores next year. Next year's Arts for Africa exhibition is one of the many ways Johannesburg is going to lure tourists to the city. This is one event that the city of Johannesburg has invested time, money and effort to actually realize the dream of making this World Cup, the 2010 FIFA World Cup, a true African World Cup. I think the former president, President Thabo Mbeki, made it in, in a statement to say South Africa is on the stage and this is actually the, an African World Cup and we want to live to that dream in its fullest sense. It is a Joburg's own exhibition. It's our own brainchild, it's our mayor's own brainchild. The mayor of the city of Johannesburg said the 2010 FIFA World Cup must leave a lasting legacy to the citizens of Johannesburg and the stakeholders of the city of Johannesburg. We regard the art industry as our main stakeholders. You know, the, food, the art of playing football is an art. The skill that is displayed for that 90 minutes is a skill that only a few people can display. Thus, it's an art. And we felt very strongly, or our mayor felt very strongly, that that art must be extended to other genders of art. And this is his dream, and it's actually going to be fulfilled. We actually think of curating and collecting best artists of the world of Africa to be exhibited in Johannesburg during the World Cup, so that we can show our creme de la creme to Africa and to the world. Curators, writers and artists from all over the continent will collaborate at the exhibition showcasing how extremely talented Africa is to the rest of the world. The Pan-African exhibition will offer benefits to the entire continent by profiling the African contemporary art industry. What we are trying to do is to bring to the fore a dialogue that has been taking place amongst curators on the continent for several years. Um, so what, is, what would be a point of interest is that um, people from, we'd, like to, we'd like to bring uh, to the fore um, sort of cultural interventions and artistic interventions that have been taking place in Nigeria, Morocco, Egypt, Ghana, a whole lot of different African countries, but also we are looking at how those um, different projects or how artists who talk about or are from the African continent, um, how their work gets translated when they live in another country. It's, all, it's, it's about dealing with the different dynamics of actually being an African. The exhibition will be open to the public from the 11th of May to the 11th of July at the Museum of Africa, falling over the 2010 FIFA World Cup period. The exhibition is endorsed by both FIFA and the South African Organising Committee. The World Cup promises to bring with it many opportunities for the arts and culture sector. I think, like any other industry, the arts and culture sector must use the 2010 FIFA World Cup as the catalyst to bigger things to come. This is a window of opportunity for our own art industry to actually launch at a higher pad. You should also appreciate the fact that our artists and our artwork are renowned right through the world as one of the best art, a product that Africa can produce. Thus, we are very, very sure that after the World Cup, the value of our, art, of our artists' artwork would actually grow, the exposure would grow, this uh, uh, pro 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 project would also launch pad them at a higher level internationally. It's a great time to have the exhibition specifically because there will be a wider audience or an extension of the sort of in crowd, if you will, of the visual arts um, of Africa. Um, other people will get a chance to see um, things that they, they, that they would be surprised to see coming from the continent of Africa. There are stereotypes about African art. There are stereotypes about South African art. There are stereotypes about township art, you know? Um, it's about extending that dialogue and, ex and, and extending the experience of people to see exactly what is possible. The current economic situation is hindering growth in most major sectors around the globe, although Melissa Mboweni says that artists see this not as an obstacle, but rather a stimulant for creativity. The, the recession has affected, generally speaking, has affected the sector. Um, uh, just looking at people who do not have dispensable income and that, the, um, who would normally have money to, to buy any odd artwork. Um, specifically from an, an emerging artist or something. 
that has sort of tapered down a bit. But that being said, there are different interventions or developments that are happening from galleries. Um, there are a whole lot of different galleries that are actually opening up. Auctions, we've just um, recently, I think about a, a month or two ago, um, an auction of um, quite a prominent um, uh, social uh, person. Uh, the, the actual works that were on the auction fetched pretty high prices, and this was in spite of the recession. One thing that is important to note is that an, artist, an artist's production doesn't stop because of the recession. They carry on. They have issues that they'd like to talk about. They, they have materials that, 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 that are interesting that they'd like to engage with. That carries on in spite of everything else outside happening. Thank you.